I do because I mean, was that to July, just like July, then I thought, well, let it, I was going to go back in August, uh, the end of August, then I thought, let me wait and see how it was going to be, then I had some other issue and I could come, you know, put an appointment earlier. Um, did they come the last, a lot? The last, the last time, it was at the end of July then. And did they come a lot? Because these things are pretty long since they're, July. They, they, I don't know how much they cut. It's just up to the edge anyway. Did they have a tough time with them, trying to cut them? What they did, one of them, well, she, she couldn't do it to the the end one. The other okay. one that's raised. Yeah. Up. Yeah. So what, the thing is, these are very curved pincer nails, and sometimes if you don't have the right tool or you don't know how much to cut, it can be a little scary. So that's why I do these videos to so show people, you know, you can trim them. You just have to have the right tool. The and right you, tool. Yeah, and you she think. Trying to work around it, but that, I don't think it was a. No problem. So you just relax. Nothing should hurt. So what we're doing is just trimming the nails nice and short. Nothing should hurt. So you just let me know if something does. Oh okay. no, they soaked it. They rubbed it. They did all kinds of stuff. But I guess like you said, you need the right stuff in it. Yeah. And so your son was brave enough to, to tell you to come here, huh? Oh. Your son was brave enough to tell you to come here? <laughs> yeah, because I told him, I said, well, I have to go because of whatever for that. But then uh, one thing after another, I got to postpone. But I'm glad I came anyway. Well, I hope you heal up. You got a big, good bang on your head. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for the bang on my head, I probably would have waited another month before I got here. So actually, I booked off for a, a week holiday. What a way to book it off. <laughs> oh. That's okay, at least I stayed put. I had my grandson, with the, like the, that hurt me downstairs, so lucky I had him around because it was really bleeding. It was really bleeding, yeah. huh? So, I'm a little aggressive. I like to trim all the way back to as short as we can. You do whatever you have to do. I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, they look awful. Like, well. Then they, I thought, let me as well see how it is that way. And they look worse than they are just because they're long, but the nails itself are doing okay. Oh, are they? Okay. So a lot of it is just lifted, lifted dead nails. So eventually, like when you'll be cutting it, it'll go properly again? Or? So this is the one thing, your nails will always grow this way. I'm they, sorry? Your nails will always grow this way. The same? The same. Oh, okay. It's just the way that your nails are going to be growing, yeah? Oh, okay. So that's why it's very important that we do regular maintenance every couple months. Yeah. So they never grow raised like that. We keep right. them nice and short. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Did anyone see how long your nails were in your family or were they pretty, were they pretty much hidden from everybody? Oh, I was hidden. <laughs> So look at this one. This one's like completely pinched yeah. and closed. Yeah. So the way I do this one is I kind of start in the middle and do one side. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. I don't feel nothing. Great job so far. We're always scared that there's the nail bed stuck inside there. So we'll do little by little in, in the middle. That's amazing though, the way that one grew away. Like off uh -huh. Like a little trumpet. <laughs> but that is the secret, is little by little. You okay still? No. Oh, yeah. Today again, eh? I know it is. It is October. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Yeah. Any sensitivity here? I'm sorry. Anything sore here? No, no. Doing a great job. So the goal, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a game, is I gotta try to cut as much as I can mm -hmm. without hurting you. Oh, 
Yeah. How about here? No, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, this is a really funny nail. But it doesn't bother you too much in the shoes, huh? No, it doesn't bother. That's what hurts. Okay, that's pretty much as flat as we're gonna get it. We're always worried, like I said, that there could be real live skin pinched inside, so I'm only gonna take it down to there. Mm -hmm. You asked me why this one's so yellow at the top, and that's because the nail's completely detached. It's not attached to the nail bed. So the moment the nail's attached, that's why it looks so much oh, more yellow. Okay. So hard. Very tough. Well, what I say is tough nails for a tough girl. Some what? Tough nails for a tough girl. Oh, I've been tough. I've yeah, that's been why. Tough. You, that, that's why you got the tough nails if you're. A, <laughs> I'm a tough. Yeah. Um, Actually, I've been pretty good, pretty, you know, I've been pretty healthy, no issues. But it was hard to cut my own tooth, or what do you call it, the nails. For sure. So I'm just trimming it back a little bit more to where the nails might be maybe a little bit more attached. So nothing can get caught in anything. And I'm making sure I trim all the way to the end, not leaving any sharp corner. Mm -hmm. And nothing will grow into your skin, as long as we make a nice straight cut to the very, very end. And we'll get a black file just so I can clean up the corners. You okay, Marie? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, excellent. We're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this little ingrown toenail tool just to make sure that there's no sharp edge. You okay here? Yep. Because as long as we... Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff coming out. Yep, you're hiding some treasure from me. <laughs> I'm finding it today. Yeah. I guess they can only do so much at the, the pedicures anyway. Well, yeah, they could. Oh, God, it was a little, a little sensitive. No, it's okay. Okay, you just let me know if it's too sensitive. I just got to get some of this dead skin out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just making sure there's no sharp edge. Let me do another foot and then we're gonna clean up both toes a little bit better and file them down, okay? That was one foot done. Mm -hmm. So same thing on this one. Yeah, these are very hard for people to cut. They're very, very thick. Mm -hmm. Just getting a little bit flatter. And we got this one going straight up in the air. <laughs> Very good. So this is the truth, if, since the nails aren't so long now, if you go to a pedicure, they might be able to hand, help you a little bit better. Like you what? If you go to a pedicure, let's say in a month or so, mm -hmm. you could go there, and since the nails aren't super long, they can 
manage them a little bit better. Or, okay. or you can come here every couple months. Most people come every two to three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me to take down these nails. Well, you may as well do it. Uh, you know, you know, do it uh, the clean job all around, the proper job. Very, very curved nails. Just making sure no little edges left behind. We'll check with the little tool on this one. And same thing, both of them have that little weird trumpet nail, yeah. completely closed. out as we can. You're still okay? Oh, I'm still in one piece. It's okay. Yeah, it can be really tricky to treat these ones. Okay, last nail. Nice one. So again, half of this nail is lifted, so I, I do like trimming off the lifted portion so that way it doesn't get caught on anything. Your son's happy with his feet now that they're fixed. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, you, you had pretty curved nails too. It, it must be in the family for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it got like this. What could it be on my feet like because of those bunions I had kept so long? Or? It can be. They change the way people walk and they the start putting they more pressure uh, actually, on the Actually, I've been standing, because uh, okay, so even from my work, I've been standing up a lot too anyway. But. Okay, so let me follow these down. I'm just going to check quickly on this corner, make sure I didn't leave any sharp edge. But there's something around there. Should I put a this corner Vaselina? Or? No, there's no cut, no wool, no nothing. I'm just making no, not for the wood, like to sort of soften it. Or I would use cream. Which? Just regular cream? Any sort of cream would be better than nothing, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to put yeah, the, the lotion, whatever. Yep, but not lotion, cream. Cream. Because lotion's too watery. So, what kind of cream then? Anything, any cream versus lotion. So, you just have to make sure the label says cream. Oh, the cream. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because lotion is too watery oh, okay, and cream. it doesn't absorb as well for for the feet. Okay, so pretty much better. So now I'm going to use a, a little tool that has a little bit of water, so there's no heat, and I'm just going to smooth out the nails, okay? Here we go.
You okay over here, Maria? Okay, let me raise this one up just for a second. So you just relax your foot right there. Perfect. So just looking quickly at your feet, you had a lot more hard skin on your right heel. This one, right here, this one. Then your left. Yep. The only way we get hard skin... So like I'm just on the heel. Yeah. Yes. The only way we get hard skin is too much pressure. So what that means is the way you're standing and walking, you're putting more pressure on your right yeah, foot. Yeah, you stand up a lot, yeah. And so that's what could be causing your heel to become very sore and sensitive. Okay. So what are you wearing on your feet at home? A what? What are you wearing on your feet at home? Sometimes just some slippers. Thin or thick? Huh? Thin or Actually, thick? Actually, the other slippers I got, they were on the thinner side. Okay. I think that's what must have done it. Yes, you need something much thicker. So is it orthopedic I need or I just need some stability shoes? A stability shoe, an orthopedic shoe would give you more stability, it would be a little bit uh, more supportive, yeah. maybe more padding, more cushioning, depending on the brand you get. So that's something that can be helpful for you. Orthopedic. Yeah, I can give you a prescription and then you have to, unfortunately I don't sell shoes here, so you yeah. have to find a orthopedic shoe store that can help you with that. A shoe store, oh okay, so whatever, something, yeah, then because the insurance was saying it's something that, I guess, whatever code that I buy, if it's covered under there. Or there. Yeah, so you would I have understand. to. I understand, you know what, all my years I've been working, I never have to use uh, those um, insurance things. And what kind of did you use that on my feet? I use a German foot foam. Okay. So you put, yeah, you relax the feet, we'll put them down. A uh, foot foam, okay. A foot foam. Okay. So you can see what they look like, much shorter. You got some cream in the sides of the nails, but that's fine, it'll help moisturize everything. Much flatter, everything. Much better shape. So these are gonna last a while. It's gonna last a while. Yeah, so I would say we come back probably two and a half months and have all this fun all so over again.